What's up guys, welcome back to another Off Brand Culture video. Today we're in Birmingham. Yeah, so Youth for Christ have their 75th anniversary this weekend. So basically we're here to have a big party tonight with lots of other Youth for Christ and it's, and it's gonna be a fun time. Yeah, it's gonna be great, let's go. So, dress code for tonight is smart. Dress code for road trip was not exactly listed. So, we have comfy clothes. We have someone in a literal suit. Hi Taylor. Do you think you do look really smart? I just, um, like you might be the best dressed for tonight. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't really read the chat. I just saw the dress look smart. So I just did dress smart. Well, you, you, you completed that assignment. <laughs> we also have, just so that Taylor is, is known that is not the only one, we have Matt Pryor dressed very snazzy. And we also do have some dress shoes on the bread in. These are boots. Dress boots then on the bread in. <laughs> We made it here to Birmingham. Uh, we're just getting our backs out of the vehicle and we're gonna head upstairs. We're headed out to go grab some coffee and some food before the celebration begins. Excited to see Birmingham. after dinner and uh, we're trying to find our way back to our hotel so we can get a couple things before we head over to the conference. We have about uh, 40 minutes or so. We're about to find our seats. of National Youth for Christ it was really good. It was really encouraging. One of the main things for me was I got to reflect on my own history with Youth for Christ. So I first met Youth for Christ when I was a young person in school and they came into my school to do RA lessons and lunch clubs. And then I went on to join Wayside Youth for Christ and then later on joined Tees Valley Youth for Christ. And it was really encouraging to think of the big picture and the massive story behind Youth for Christ and the history behind it. And being able to think of my own personal history as well was really cool. And that was definitely my highlight from the night, just being surrounded by all that history. I think it was just cool to see at the celebration the different generations of Christians who have been faithful to serve God through Youth for Christ over the 75 years. It was also really cool to sing worship songs from each of the different eras that Youth for Christ has been around. We sang songs from Grace Thy Faithfulness to modern worship songs. So I found the worship bit really encouraging um, during the celebration time. Doors closing. So yesterday was just a celebration. Today is the first day of the actual conference. So it's going to be great. We're at the conference. We're about to head upstairs to the main session. exciting being at off-brand culture we do things that are very different to what most youth workers get to do and it's really exciting and some of those things were pulled out during the conference as we had conversations about the future of the internet and had conversations around gaming as well um, so I didn't expect that much of what was said at conference to be tiered towards that but with the different seminars, we definitely got to focus on that a lot more than I expected. And it's really encouraging to see that compared to what we're actually doing at Off Brand Culture. 
So I think as a Christian in a pandemic, it, a lot of times it felt isolating. It felt like we were the only ones doing what we were doing. And it was just really encouraging to see Youth for Christ centers from all around the country who were doing the same thing and to see that we're not alone. Especially as young people, it can often feel isolating as a Christian. It can feel like you're the only one in your school that cares about Jesus, or you're the only person in your community that cares about Jesus. I think that can be really intimidating. And I think we all feel that in different ways and different settings. I just found it really encouraging to be around other believers who care about Jesus and uh, care about reaching young people through media. So we had a ton of fun at conference. We hope you guys had fun following us on our adventures. If you have any ideas where we should go in England next, keep it to England. We don't have the biggest travel budget. Put a comment below to say where we should go visit. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe so you can see what we get up to next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.